you've been using the new beta of Resolve 15 and working in the Fusion tab and are annoyed by having to, if you don't have any footage to start off with, if you say you just want to do a motion graphic and you have to come over to Generators and drag over a solid color and then right click on that, come up to New Compound Clip, make a compound clip before going into Fusion. I figured out a way to do away with those steps. You still have to start off in the Edit tab but it's definitely uh, removes a few steps and makes it a little bit quicker to get started in Fusion. So we'll come back to edit, delete that. Now I'll give a preview here of what I created. So if you go into the titles and scroll down to Fusion titles, I created a title here called Transparent Background. So if you drag that out and that's it, you're set. If you come into Fusion, it's basically a background that's transparent and then you could do all your motion graphics or any other work you want to do. Right now you didn't have to create a compound clip. I come in here, click on this first node, add some text. Your size, go right back into the edit page and it's there. And it looks like it's on a black background but that's actually transparent. It keeps the transparency so if I move that up and add in a clip underneath, then that compute infusion is visible right away. There's no real tweaking you have to do. So I'll show you how I made this. So we'll just delete all this. So we want to start back to create this for you on your, on your own. Come back to generators and pick a solid color, drag it over. Now you want to make sure that your product settings are set to uh, the frame rate you're normally using. So right now I normally use 30 frames per second. So if I come up into uh, project settings, see right now this is set to 2424. So if you're going to be doing 30 frames per second, you want to make sure that that's set to begin with. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to restart Resolve. We'll be back after this starts up again. Okay, I'm opening Project. Before I add anything, I just want to double check. Come up to File. Come to the Project Settings. And I want to make sure that this is all set to what I'm going to be using uh, this mostly for. So again, I'm going to be using this for 30 frames per second. Change this to 30. And finally change this to HD 1080p 30. Which is right down here. So this is all set to 30 frames per second. Click save. Now I can add solid color. And if I scrub through this, see it is 30 frames per second. So right click, click and choose new compound clip. Now this is just for creating this. Once once we get this finished, then you won't have to do this in the future. So we're gonna come over to Fusion. Then we're gonna disconnect Media One and just delete it. So now we're gonna to wanna to create two backgrounds merged. And you're gonna to wanna to set both backgrounds to their alpha to zero here so that they're both transparent and then connect the merge to the media out. Now we just have a transparent background. So what we're gonna do is create a macro out of this. Uh, I named the macro transparent background, so it's pretty obvious what it is. And then I did another video showing how to create macros and then add them to the Fusion Titles menu. So I'm not gonna go into great detail here, I'm just gonna quickly kind of go through it. And if you wanna see a little slower, more in detail, just I'll link to the other video. But you basically want to select these three nodes, right click, come up to macro, click create macro, and then name it, what you want to name it. So I'm going to name this one transparent background two, because I already have one. And the only thing you have to make available, you could basically close everything down, just want to go into the merge, make sure that output is selected, and it is. Come up to file, click save as. 
you just be saving it into your macros folder. And you could just keep this as a macro if you want. You don't have to uh, add it to that menu, but if you want to use it from within the edit page, you have to add it to the Fusion Titles menu. So uh, pretty much for this, you're going to want to do that. So save it. And then you could close. And now it's saved to your macros folder. So you want to close out of Resolve. You don't need to save that project. And then I'll link to the path for the these folders. But again, I, I'll go over more detail in the other video. Okay, so it's going to be under your user, App Data Roaming, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, and Fusion. And your macros are stored under the macros folder here. So you double click on that. And this is where it saved it to. So this is the new one I just made. So just right click and copy that. And then you're going to go back to you come out here instead of Fusion, you're going to go to DaVinci Resolve, Fusion. Then you want to go to Templates, Edit, and then Titles. And this is your personal folder for adding new uh, Fusion titles. There's an actual one under the uh, Program Files directory too for Resolve, but that has all the ones that are pre-made. So if you want to keep it a little neater, uh, this is probably a better spot to go. And again, I'll put this path in the description. But then you just have to right click, click paste. So now I added another macro to here. And you just minimize that. Then go back into Resolve. And you can open up a new project. And then right from the start, if you come down to Titles and scroll down, you'll see the new one I just created, Transparent Background 2. So instead of having to go into Generators, picking a... Um, solid color, dragging that on, and then having to right click on it, compound clip, and then go into Fusion. And just one step, you just drag, go down here, drag that over, and it's ready to go in Fusion. It's already transparent, so then you could just, you don't have to worry about uh, having any background color to start with or any footage. You could just start right from here. If you want to have a background, then you could add a background now. So then you have a background merged. Uh, if you want to add text, come to this merge. Add text. They're in a separate merge here. And now, if I come into the edit window, right now it's actually is black text. So if I bring another footage, you wouldn't see it. But if you wanted it just to be blank and then bring in another footage, come into the Fusion tab. Get rid of that and get rid of this. And if you wanted to add text, just come in here, click text. Then come into the edit page, add in some footage. And then the background is transparent so that you could see whatever you created in your motion graphics you did in Fusion. So it's not, it's not quite as easy as with the standalone version of Fusion, but instead of having a, it does save you a few steps and you could just add a transparent background and get right, right started in Fusion and you don't have to do those other steps. So hopefully this helped you out and I thank you for watching.